Good morning. I woke up this morning and I saw that the fields are getting flooded here. So these are the Somerset levels that stretch for miles and miles around Healing Waters. And they're all beneath sea level and in winter time they flood completely. And they're only kept under control by the ditches that you can see through the fields. The lines of water moving away like this one in front here. Can you see that? So that drains the land. But in the distance we have the River Brew, which uh, once it fills starts overflowing down into the fields. So the River Brew is now flooding into the fields and if it rains again today then we'll see a lot more water on the fields. And it's very magical. And this is the Healing Water Spring down in the right hand corner. So this was all water back in the time when Jesus is said to have come to England and Saint um, uh, Joseph, Joseph of Arimathea arrived here as a trader. And the hedge at the bottom there, that was the shoreline and all the rest was water and the Romans used to arrive here, they had a dock in the corner of my field and would land here and there was a little Roman settlement here in Glastonbury and Joseph of Arimathea came and was reputed to have brought Jesus here as a boy and Joseph brought also the chalice from the Last Supper which is buried in Chalice Hill, that's why the Chalice Hill string is famous and the Red Spring that is said to flow with the blood of Christ. So we have lots of springs in Glastonbury and it's a very sacred place and it's been a place of pilgrimage way, way before Joseph of Arimathea came. It's been a place of pilgrimage since ancient times. we have the Glastonbury Tor, which is very special. On the top there's a, a church tower that's the remains of a tower of um, that was taken down by an earthquake, I think, in the 10th century. So that's where the monks had a, a church there as well. So the sun is rising and it's a beautiful day. It's going to be another beautiful day. So magical. So the bank of cloud on the horizon obscured the sun as it came up. But it's coming up now through the clouds there. So it really gladdens the heart when we can just be still in nature and just sit and be at peace lifts the spirits because we are nature, we are connected to nature and it speaks to us at the deepest level. And the birds love it out here. We have this tree at the end of the garden. It's absolutely full of birds. It's like thermals that come up from this valley, from the levels of thermals and the, the birds fly on it and they play and they have such a wonderful time. So yes, if we can just connect with nature as often as possible. I know everyone's having a really rough time right now, really challenging time, like our whole world has been turned upside down. It feels for many people like they're being completely stripped bare of everything, I know. That's a sense of, for me, of what's happening. And it's a wonderful opportunity to, 
perhaps dig deeper within oneself. And just like really begin to heal, to do some really, really deep trauma healing. And to get to the truth. Because we're in a massively powerful time at the moment. Very challenging, quite frightening, but also uplifting if we can dig deep enough to find that place of truth within ourselves and to find that place of power because we have to throw off the shackles of things that are overpowering us the shackles of things that keep us living a lie as we've lived a lie for a very long time on this planet so that's a beautiful beautiful view this morning I wonder what the day will hold what will the day hold for you? I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you manage to find some resource, connect with nature, do something that will lift your spirits and reach out and, and see a friend. Go and see a friend. Go and see your loved ones. Put your arms around somebody and hold them. Human contact is so important. And it really supports our immune system when we can connect and have physical contact. So lots of love to you all. Enjoy this little video. Hi, Joy and Lisa. Yeah, enjoy this. Enjoy the video. Try it for yourselves. Try going out and, and seeing somebody and giving them a hug. Not being frightened not shutting down but moving forward moving forward and connecting because connection is what we need we need connection more than anything good morning lisa we really need connection we really need to hold our loved ones and to know that we're not alone we're not meant to be alone we are tribal creatures we live in community we are hardwired for connection and we regulate our nervous systems in relationship to our loved ones. We co-regulate. We have to help each other to co-regulate and feel at peace. Woo, lots of birds flying over. So just reflect what helps you at the moment to stay sane and do more of that. Turn off the television. Don't watch the newspapers. It's all designed to turn you insane. So we need to keep our sanity above all things. And move away from this deliberately induced psychosis that's happening. And just think how much stronger you'll be when you can do that when you can throw off those shackles and, and choose what you're going to listen to and choose what you're going to think about things rather than just being in fear because when we're in fear we can't think clearly anymore the frontal cortex gets turned off and the frontal cortex is all about critical thinking our capacity to be rational gets turned off and we're just in an activation of fear where then we just believe that thing that's making us fearful. So there's nothing to be fearful of apart from fear itself, apart from that deliberate manipulation. If you stand up and you stop being fearful, then your life will start to change. So just throw off those shackles. So the sun is rising higher, the sky is lighting up, and gosh, it's such a beautiful day. So oh, come and visit me, Lisa. Come and visit. So we're open at Healing Waters, and we're open for anyone who wants to come along. We're open for men, um, we're allowed officially to be 
seeing people for mental health conditions or for business, just come along. And it's very beautiful here just to be soothed by the peace, the tranquility of the nature. It's incredible nature reserves around here. Just what we need, just complete peace and tranquility with like-minded people. We need to connect with like-minded people. Otherwise we can feel like we're going mad. So it's beautiful to come and walk up the tour. When you walk up to the top of the tour, the views are incredible. And it's so magical. And then as you walk down from the tour, there are two springs. There's the white spring that you can go inside and it's all filled with candles. And the white spring is really, really magical in there. It's a place you can go in and pray. And then there's the red spring, which is the cellist well. And then the cellist well gardens, they're beautiful. And, oh, lovely bird just went over. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, so many lovely things. And then there are other sacred sites around here. There's the Wirial Hill, which is where Joseph of Arimathea climbed and planted his staff in the ground which grew into the holy thorn tree. And that was a very magical tree as it flowered twice a year. At Christmas time and at the normal time. And every year cuttings would be taken to the Queen from the Holy Thorn Tree. And then there's Bride's Mound, which is the, um, the hermitage of St. Bridget. That's just on the edge of town, so that's another sacred place. Anyway, there you are. Enjoy, have a lovely day. Please share and hopefully we can uplift people's spirits together. We can work together to help other people come through what's happening at the moment. Lots of love to you. Loads of love. Bye for now. Bye.